Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So it is nighttime. I have been busy here. Shift right clicking the grass, getting these pebbles to make cobblestone so we can expand down and have a little bit more room to work with here in our sky block base. You can see here that I have a little bit of extra cobblestone. I have made some extra chests. And I did place down all of our Tinker stuff that we made last episode. I was gonna move our furnace here, but then I realized that I don't have a pickaxe in order to break this thing. Uh, another thing that we should do, I'm just noticing now that it's nighttime, it is quite dark. We should go ahead and make ourselves some torches here and kind of light this up just ever so slightly. Not that any mobs can spawn at the moment. Yeah, mobs can only spawn like if the player is, uh, what, 24 blocks away? I don't think this base is 24 blocks wide. But anyway, we should light this up so we can see better at nighttime regardless. Uh, so yeah, what I'd like to do is start using our Tinker stuff here and see if we can make ourselves a pickaxe so we can pick up our furnace. Now we don't have a lot of material to work with. We do have wood and we do have stone. So let's see what we can do here. So if we're gonna make ourselves a Tinker pickaxe, we need to make ourselves a pickaxe head pattern. You can shift right click that and that goes over into the pattern chest. We do need to make ourselves a binding and we need to make ourselves a tool rod. Yep. We've seen this all before, but for those of you maybe have not seen Tinker's Construct and have been hiding under a rock. Uh, all right, so we're gonna make ourselves a stone pickaxe head. We are going to make ourselves a wooden uh, tool rod, okay? And then we need to make ourselves a binding, and I think I normally make that out of stone. Obviously, there's much better materials, but since we're limited, that's what we're gonna make it out of. So tool station, we can click over on the pickaxe and then we can do this and there we go. Now we have ourselves a stone pickaxe. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it will allow us to pick up our furnace now. Very good, okay. So we have that done. We can make ourselves like a shovel, we can make ourselves a sword and all this kind of stuff. I don't think that's really that necessary yet. Maybe the sword, if we make ourselves a mob farm, will be necessary, but at least a stone pickaxe so we can pick up things around the base, I think makes some sense here okay so we can put all that stuff away i did have to enable if you click the uh, three dots here middle click this was turned off by default i turn that on that allows me to use the middle mouse button to sort i do that quite often when i go into a chest the first thing i do is sort it um okay so we have ourselves a stone pickaxe so we use our tinker stuff let's go back to our quest book here and see what else we can do so this wants us to do an iron furnace, and as we saw last episode, we needed eight iron in order to make the iron furnace. We haven't even started getting iron yet, so we can't do that. Uh, Hunting Dimension wants us to have, or wants us to make this and go there, but that's dangerous. We don't have armor. This wants us to kill mobs. We don't have a mob farm, and we're not going to the Hunting Dimension yet. This requires a lot of resources. <laughs> so pretty much where we're at right now, we're gonna follow this path this way. So we have lava generation, and then we have making bonsai pots. Uh, the bonsai trees, if you haven't seen those before, is like a, a tree farm. Uh, this you is pretty manual, but there is the hopping bonsai, which is automatic. So it's like a small tree farm, which will be very nice. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna be able to make the hopping bonsai just yet, since we don't have any metal. And the hopper, okay, so that's just like iron, iron, yeah, nothing too fancy. And it's got this recipe here, so you don't actually have to make a chest. So two logs plus some iron will make a hopper. I like that recipe a lot. Okay, so the regular bonsai, let's take a look at that. If you don't know, you can hover over different items in JEI and press A. If you look down here, this JEI bookmarks thing it says hover over an ingredient and press A to bookmark it. So these are the bookmarks over here. You can click this button to hide the bookmarks. And if you press A on the item over here, it gets rid of it. Okay, so anyway, bonsai pot. We need to get ourselves five brick in order to make one of those. Well, we just picked up our furnace, so we need to put the furnace back down again. So let's do that. Uh, trying to figure out where do I want the furnace. I guess we can just put it right here for now. Okay, and then we made clay last episode, so we'll go ahead and take those apart. Advancement made ender IO conduits. I mean, that makes sense. Sure, we made Ender IO conduits, didn't we guys? Guys? <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and smelt all eight of those. We only need five, but I'm sure we're gonna be using more than 
one hopping bonsai or bonsai pot in the future. So we'll just go ahead and cook both of our clay blocks like so. Okay, so going over to lava generation while that's cooking up, this says melt cobblestone into lava. You can check heat sources by searching the usage of, GE, of crucibles in GEI. So we do crucible, uh, crucible. So I do a right click to see the uses and we can see crucible heat sources here. So lava gives us a three X heat blaze mesh, which is made from nine blaze powder, gives us 30 X. Plutonium is 40. Awake of Draconium is 480, so that's obviously where we want to go. Heat sand from Nature is 120, so that's pretty good. Ludicrate block is only 60. That seems awfully low. Uh, Yellorium is only 20. Fire is 4. Blaze Quartz is 10. A torch is only 1, but that's probably where we're going to be starting. And Infinity blocks is 1,000. That's crazy. Do I even want to look at this recipe? I probably don't. Okay, we got to back up, back up before we get scared and decide we don't want to play this mod pack anymore. <laughs> okay, so the crucible is what we want to make. Uh, that comes from the unfired crucible, and that requires porcelain clay or unfired porcelain. Porcelain clay, so that's clay plus bone meal, and that gets us this thing. So bone meal we get from bones, obviously. Uh, is there any other ways we can sift for it? So dust, you can sift for bone meal. So that's another option. Or we can make ourselves a mob farm. Uh, anything else in here? Auto sieve, crusher. Okay, I don't think there's any other like special ways of getting it. It's either through bones or from sifting. And we don't have a mob farm set up, but we have a way to get ourselves pretty much infinite cobblestone. Just takes a little bit of time, right? So I think this might be the way we're going to do it. Let's take our current cobblestone. Last episode, we were talking about how we can turn this into the compressed cobblestone. Shift right click on here to spread to all of the different slots. Um, yeah, I didn't try this yet. I assume this works, but let's give it a go. So if you take compressed cobblestone and you hit it with the hammer, I do believe it should turn into a compressed gravel and it absolutely does. Okay, so that means we can vein mine this stuff. Let's just go ahead and vein mine that. Cool, so now we have seven compressed gravel and we will turn that into compressed sand. And finally, we'll turn that into compressed dust. Awesome. Oh, okay, Never mind. The icon doesn't have like the, uh, the black border around it. I thought they just turned into seven dust. I was like, oh, what did they just do? No, so this is regular dust. Okay, so now that we have that, we can put down our sieves with our string mesh, meshes. Okay, you can have them touching, I do believe. And as long as they have the same type of mesh in there and you have enough blocks, it should be able to sift the amount that is connected at the same time. So we have three bone meal. I can keep, I can make more of these uh, sieves. In fact, it might be an idea since we already have the string mesh for us to do that. So we need some oak wood. And I think it was string and slabs, or not string, uh, sticks and slabs, I think. Let's take a look, sieve. Uh, yeah, so that's a slab, so, and then planks. Oh boy, I don't know how many we need. How about that many, this, that, this, some of that, some of this, one of those. Okay, so there's four more of these. Well, I mean, that's not a three by three, but yeah. It's definitely going to be a lot faster than what we were just doing. So now we can do six at a time as we're doing this, which is fantastic. And I believe this goes up to like, I want to say it's like a nine by nine you can do, or is it a eight by eight and you can do a full stack at once. I, I honestly can't remember how big these go with the connected meshes like this. But anyway, uh, this is more than enough than what we need. So there is 18 bone meal. So that was pretty simple. Now, in order to make the unfired crucible, we needed seven. So we have more than enough. We just need to get ourselves the clay. We saw how to make that last episode. Now, I did use oak leaves, and it says in the quest book that we can use saplings. I think saplings work just the same as leaves. So this was like a step that I did not need to do, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so we'll put down our wooden crucible, our wooden barrel, and we're going to need these glass bottles once again. I also believe we can get ourselves a clay bucket. An unfired clay bucket is just made from three clay. We can cook it in our 
furnace. That'll get us a clay bucket, and then we can move water around buckets at a time instead of quarter buckets at a time. So that might be something that we're gonna look at doing. But anyway, first things first, I'm gonna place these things down here like we do. We're gonna start putting some leaves into this, turning that into water, and then I'm gonna just start transferring that water over. Yep, like so. I'm gonna get some dust, and then I will turn that into clay, and then we will continue on. Let me continue working on this, and we'll be back, guys. All right, well, I just went ahead and I put a whole bunch of leaves in here. We got four buckets of water. Mm -hmm. And I've been chopping down a whole lot of trees. You can see now we got a whole bunch of oak wood, lots of oak saplings, and a whole bunch of food, <laughs> which is fantastic. We don't have to worry about food for a while. Uh, but yeah, I made an unfired clay bucket. So let us put that into our furnace. Now, most mod packs, you can take coal, yeah, and you can break it into tiny charcoal or tiny coal. In this case, we're gonna do chi tiny charcoal. And what this will allow us to do is smelt one item at a time so we don't have to like try and get eight items smelted at once. Yeah, that should last for the burn time of one item. So yeah, it's a more efficient way of using your charcoal. Okay, very good. So there's our clay bucket. So we should be able to take this, put it into here, and then we, oh, I can't do that. I was gonna, yeah, you can't even right click with that in the offhand. I was gonna try and do this in a uh, faster way, but apparently can't do that, which is fine. Anyway, so now we have the clay that we're looking for. Okay, very good. Uh, so the other thing is we can take the brick that we've made and there's our bonsai pot. So we can get rid of that from here. And then the unfired crucible that wanted us to have the clay plus bone meal, which I don't have on me, but it is right here. So we can do this and this. We need that many. Okay, and then we can make ourselves an unfired crucible. Um, I don't remember if we need the unfired or just the regular one. It looks like it's just the regular one. Okay, so we take the unfired one, put it into there, use another one of our tiny charcoal, and we get ourselves uh, the fired crucible. Now the bonsai pot, we were talking about this earlier, um, don't really have a good place for this. and. In my opinion, these really aren't that useful until you turn them into the hopping bonsai. But just so you guys can see how this works, if you haven't seen this before, uh, you place this down and then you are supposed to put some type of growth medium in there. So like dirt or grass, or you can use slimy grass if you're doing the tinkers. Uh, we have dirt here, so I'll just put a piece of dirt in there. Uh, if I remember correctly, the bonsai, uh, like the growth and the drops that you get depend on the type of stuff that they're growing on. So you can see here, if we do grass block, the growth time is 100%, drop chance is 100. If we do dirt, it's 110% growth time, so it goes faster, but only gives you 90% of the drops. Yeah, so just something to keep in mind. Um, some plants require certain other materials, so this tree requires nether rack, like I said, the slime trees. Uh, from Tinkers do require the slimy grass. If that's even a thing we can do in this mod pack, I think it is, but I'm not seeing it in here. Oh, here we go. So yeah, and then the different slimes uh, change the growth different ways as well. So growth time 50%, drop chance 150. So yeah, I mean, these are just things that you can kind of look at and see. Um, now there was one in here that looked really good. Let's go back to that real quick. So growth time 12.5%, drop chance 300. So the magma slimy grass, this is really good. But I don't know if you can grow any type of tree on it or just the slime trees. So yeah, we'll look at that a little bit later. But anyway, uh, we have dirt in here and we can plant one sapling on there. And since this is not a hopping bonsai, what's gonna happen is that tree is gonna grow and it grows rather quickly actually, it looks like. Uh, I don't remember, can you twerk this? Maybe not, I think you can uh, accelerate it using like, uh, you know, the cheaty wand of cheatiness or whatever. Um, but yeah, the tree will grow full and then I'll just wait until you break it yourself. And I think you just break it like you were going to break something. Yeah, okay, so uh, I think you can use an ax on there and it doesn't break the bonsai pot. I, I can't remember, but anyway, the hopping bonsai you can place on top of a chest and it'll just auto put the drops and just keep going automatically so you don't have to break this thing every time. Like I said, the uh, bonsai pod by itself, before you get to the hopping one, really isn't that useful. We can already see just by uh, placing a sapling, twerking it, and then vein mining it, you get a lot more drops in a faster amount of time, right? 
yeah. Anyway, so that's what the bonsai pot is, and we'll hold on to that until we can upgrade that to the upgraded version. Okay, so here's our crucible. And there is our quest complete. Okay, so we'll claim the RAK from this, and we'll claim the RAK from our bonsai pot. Cool. And that's going to get us towards a cobblestone generator, which is automated. Shift right clicking in the grass, right? Uh, so cobblestone generator. In order to make the very first one, let's bookmark this and unbookmark these guys. Uh, we do need, it looks like clay buckets work just fine. But you don't get the clay bucket back for the lava side, which is fine. I mean, we can see how easy clay is for us to get. So let's just make another clay bucket. We'll do one of those. And I need to put uh, leaves or saplings in there. I'll use leaves since we have these. Okay, so that's full of leaves. That'll get us a bucket of water. And then this. We could also make ourselves an infinite source so I don't have to keep putting leaves in here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing stopping us from doing that. Uh, but anyway, it's just easy enough to melt down the leaves and not have the infinite source around. Okay, so now we need to take the crucible and put it on top of a torch, right? Well, we got torches in all four corners. I guess I'll just put it right here. Okay, and then we have to put in four cobblestone in order to melt down into lava. So let's put in four. One, two, three, four. So you can see this is going pretty slow. Very slow. That has to get to 1,000. We're at 20. <laughs> Uh, so that's probably going to be a little bit of AFK time waiting for that to happen. But once we get there, I can bucket it out. Then we can make ourselves a cobblestone generator and we can automate cobble production. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and hold off for just a little bit of time. All right. So while I was waiting for the cobblestone to melt down into lava, I went ahead and I shift right clicked the ground a little bit more to get some more cobblestone which kind of seems pointless since we're going to have a cobblestone generator which will make this stuff for me anyway but I got to kill time doing something uh so yeah we have more cobblestone here and now we can grab the lava out of that so we have lava we have water we have cobblestone we should be able to make ourselves our cobblestone generator so this one down here it says we're oh that's right we need glass I missed that okay well that's easy enough we just need to take cobblestone hit it into gravel and then hit that into sand and smelt that and then we should have our glass for our cobblestone generator now kind of looking ahead i was uh peeking at this one flint mesh this wants us just to make one flint stiffened mesh for this quest that'll give us five rak and to do a flint stiffened mesh here it is six flint plus a string mesh so I went ahead and I made some compressed gravel. Uh, we have 18 of those. And if we put three of those into our crafting grid, we get a flint. Now I could place them all down and punch them and hope for the flint. This is just faster. So we're going to do it this way. Uh, so there is six flint that we need to get ourselves one string mesh, which we have an extra one of. And we can do that, this and this. And there's our flint stiffened mesh. Cool. So that should complete that one quest. Mm-hmm. So the use is for the flint stiffened mesh. I'm not actually sure. I haven't looked at this yet, uh, like what this can do versus what the others can do. But generally speaking, in most of these packs where they're sifting, uh, the string is the worst. Then flint gives you like better percentages and maybe more items of resulting items. And then iron is better and then diamond. But in other packs that I've played, flint will just give you completely different items altogether from string. And they're all like fairly equal. They just give you different stuff. So uh, we're going to have to go through the quest book, or I'm sorry, GEI, and take a look at all of that and see which one is best. Uh, so anyway, we can go ahead and make ourselves our cobblestone generator now. So there is that. And we only get the clay bucket back for water, which is fine. Uh, once we get iron, we should be able to get iron back when we do things like that. Was going to get myself more water, but we don't have a uh, water in here. All right, so I'll make water. I really should look at making myself an infinite <laughs> source of water, but for now, like I said, this really isn't that big of a deal. All right, so now we got ourselves a water bucket back. Very good. So cobblestone generator does automatically output cobblestone to a chest if it's on top. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest. 
so we can output into that. Oh, that one over here. All right. Do one of those, a chest, cobblestone generator. I don't know where to put these things. Like we don't really have room. I'm just kind of like throwing things down. Uh, so yeah, the cobblestone is being produced here and it is very slow. It's not fast at all. We can speed this up by making the next tier, which is, oh, blocks of iron. Oh, wow, that is kind of expensive. What is the elite crafting? What is this? Oh, okay, so I guess that is used to make a creative cobble generator later on. Okay, that's way more advanced than where we are right now. Don't look at those things. <laughs> All right, so we are going to need a whole lot of iron in order to upgrade to the next tier, but this will make one cobblestone block every 20 ticks or one cobblestone per second. This is making it every 40 ticks. So every two seconds, we get one cobblestone. But just sitting here doing nothing, we've already collected, you know, 23 cobblestones. So I say that's working pretty good. Um, eventually, we're probably going to want to replace this chest with a compacting drawer. So, yeah, we can just make uh, compressed cobblestone, double compressed cobblestone automatically out of these things. But that'll be stuff for later once again. Uh, so let's go ahead and collect our RA key from that and our RA key from this one. So now we got 12, 10 more. We're up to 55. Now I was looking at the rewards section here at these different ones. Night vision is probably something we're going to want eventually. Flight is definitely something we're going to want, but that costs 768. What? 768? That's crazy. Uh, regen is probably going to be good. Fertility, that will allow us to grow crops around us faster, kind of like the astral sorcery ritual, if you've seen that. Uh, saturation totem this is the one that i'm actually kind of interested in and this can stack i think up to five so we'd need to buy five of these for like or three of them i don't remember for the maximum effect but it does cost 64 rak for that and that'll just automatically bump up our saturation really pretty much while we're just doing nothing and we don't have to eat food for it uh or actually you know i said the fertility totem was like the botania ritual I would, or uh, Astral Sorcery. I guess it's the Bone Mealer Totem, I think. That costs 150 That's a little expensive. Maybe the Fertility one makes animals around you breed. Anyway, um, so <laughs> getting back to our quests here, let's take a look at things that we can do at the moment. So a Growth Crystal would be one of the next things. Uh, we could look at what it costs for us to get iron. That might be something worth investigating because we are going to need quite a lot of it. Let's actually do that. So if we want to do um, like the sieves, for instance, let's take a look at what is required for this. Uh, so if we go to, oh, I don't know, gravel. So if gravel on, can you do gravel on a string? Okay, so gravel on a string mesh gives you flint and rock candy, and that's it. You don't get any metals out of it, so we can't do that. Gravel on a gra or a flint stiffened mesh Gives us the same two things, plus coal, lapis, and all of these different materials. Uh, iron is a 100% drop. Okay, so that's good. Uh, gravel on iron stiffened mesh will allow us to unlock diamonds and emeralds, as well as all this other stuff. I don't know if that increases anything else. It's still 20% on the gold. Iron still 100%. I don't know if that increases anything else. And then finally, uh, the diamond stiffened mesh. Maybe that increases the chance for this 1.6%. Okay, so that doubles a percent for that. Gold goes from 20% to a 10%. You actually lose percentage. So that's something to keep in mind. Iron is still 100%. Yeah, so you kind of got to play around with this and find the correct balance for the different meshes that you want to use based on the resources that you want to get. Well, we're really just looking for iron ore at the moment. And that requires flint stiffened meshes. So I think our next step right now is to make a whole bunch of gravel to turn that into flint and then turn our, our uh, string meshes into flint meshes. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'll take the cobblestone that we have collected here, our cobblestone that we have here. We're going to just go ahead and put that into the grid like so and shift click that button. And there is 29 compressed cobblestone. Okay. So I'm going to take this stuff and we are just going to vein mine that into compressed gravel. Yep, I think that is our next goal here. All right. How many of these I have left? Nine more. All right, fine. Like so, and then five more and one there. Okay, good. 
So now we can just go ahead and vein mine all of that. And now we get 29 compressed gravel. So if I take that and I uncompress them, we get a bunch of gravel and then I can turn that into flint and we can turn our string meshes into the flint stiffened ones. All right, cool. So I went ahead and I made a few more of these sieves. Yep, we have nine of them in total, three by three. And I upgraded all of our string meshes to the flint ones, so we had nine of them. And now we can do nine materials at a time, which is pretty good. So that's gonna allow us to get iron quite quickly here and all the other resources that we are looking for. We go ahead and do this. Okay, there we go. So now we should have the correct amount of gravel in my hand for us to sieve all of this stuff uh, nine at a time for every time. Yeah. So now we got two more to go, one more sieve to go, and there we go. Awesome. Okay, so now we got a whole bunch of different raw material. So the iron is what we're really looking for. So that'll give us 29 of these iron ore chunks. Let's take a look at the uses of these guys. So we can do some stuff here, which uh, we're not even remotely close to having these things. If we smelt them, we get one. If we use a quartz grindstone, we get one plus, or I guess 1.5, 50% chance at a second one. If we smelt it with a smeltery, we get ourselves two ingots, so you do double up on that. Uh, what about, does it show the other thing, the melter? Mm, I guess not. So I think, oh, I guess that's what this is. Yeah, I was looking for the white one, the porcelain melter. That gets you one ingot. So I'm not actually sure if we are able to craft a smeltery right now. So it looks like we have to do the porcelain melter first. Uh, and then we wrap that with some seared brick. The porcelain melter is made with porcelain brick and some porcelain window or whichever one is like the cheapest, which is a lot more unfired porcelain, more bone meal. Oh boy, more clay. All the things that we've already worked on. Oh boy. Okay, so we got lots of stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of our different metals into a different chest here. We get ourselves coal, which is fantastic. And then flint, I think, no, I didn't have any extra. Okay, yeah, so we'll put all of that stuff up into here. So what we're really looking to do is to get ourselves a melter and then upgrade that to a smeltery, but I think that's gonna have to wait for another episode. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for today. We got ourselves a cobblestone generator. We made ourselves lava. We made ourselves flint stiffened meshes, and yeah, we are progressing very easily in the early game of this mod pack. I felt like it was gonna be a little bit harder in Kappa mode, but it feels roughly the same. I think it's gonna ramp up in difficulty when we start getting into like mid game and end game and things like that. But anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.